All right, well, thank you very much. It's great to be here. Uh, the industry has certainly gone through a lot of change and evolution over the last four or five years, and some pretty significant changes in the way uh, uh, our hoteliers are doing business, and some pretty significant changes in the way independent planning firms, such as meeting expectations, are doing business. If we go back in time a little bit to 2006, 7, and 8, uh, over that time frame, uh, certainly the, the market uh, prices were being set by, by the hotels. The meeting industry had bounced back very, very strongly uh, from some setbacks we all suffered in 2001 and 2002. And throughout that time frame, uh, we found that the hotels were able to press prices, and it was definitely a seller's market. Uh, so we, uh, as independent planners uh, and incentive companies, uh, basically had to take the prices that were being offered uh, at the time. Um, and then as we all know, towards the end of 2008 and into 9 and 10, the industry took a massive hit. Uh, the meeting industry in general uh, took a big hit. Uh, but specifically the incentive uh, area of the, the segment uh, took a big hit. The hotels that depended really heavily on that type of business had to discount their prices and, and discount them quite heavily. And so the ADR, uh, the average uh, daily rate, went down big time. Probably it went down 40%, back down to levels that we hadn't seen since uh, pre-2001. Uh, We're talking late 90s and early 2000s uh, ADRs. Uh, so that was what our customers, um, our incentive customers, needed to come back into the fold and start having their incentive business. Um, on top of that, uh, the hotels were pressed on pricing in a number of different areas as well. Uh, food and beverage costs, uh, room rental costs, in addition to the ADR. So all areas were under, under pressure. Uh, but that's what they had to do and uh, to get back uh, the business uh, to the levels they had seen uh, previously. And so that puts us into the 2009 through 2011 uh, time frame, and it was great. And we tried to work as meeting expectations in the spirit of partnership, and we understand they can't give away things for free, but at the same time, they were going to have to do things to draw the customers back in. And um, I think it was great to let our customers know that the hotels were willing to compromise on their pricing uh, to have the industry come back the way it has. Um, so fast forward a, you know, a couple of years now. Um, oh, one other trend we saw during that time is a lot of short-term business. So companies would literally decide in June that they were going to have an event in September. That's a really tight turnaround time, especially for a larger program, but the hotel had the opening. They loved the short-term business, so it was mutually beneficial in that respect. So um, again, as we kind of get back to where we are right now, it's longer-term business. The hotels are filling up again, which is great. It's great for the business. It's great for the airlines. It's great for us meeting planning firms. Um, but the hotels are getting back now to being able to drive a little bit higher average daily rate. And so I think of it as a bit of a pendulum, perhaps. So, you know, pre-2008, uh, pre-recession, if you will, I think the pendulum was a little bit on the high side of pricing from the hotels. Um, then you go from 9, 10, and 11, that pendulum kind of swung in the other direction, where the hotels were discounting the prices so heavily, it's hard to imagine that they were doing very well, but nevertheless, they were glad to have the occupancy. The pendulum, I think, right now is, is well balanced. I think the pricing that the hotels are charging is, is by and large fair and equitable to both groups, and I think that's healthy for the hotel industry, I think it's healthy for the incentive industry, and I think it's healthy for our clients that are having these events. 